Hey, what's going on everybody? In this NBA Top Shot video, we finally have some new Top Shot news to talk about. It's been a while since we've actually had any kind of news that is noteworthy for making a video on. And in this one, we definitely have some stuff to talk about. We got to talk about the upcoming pack that you can reserve now, like nine days in advance. Um, it's pretty early to reserve the pack, but I, I'm sure they just wanted to put some news out there to get people excited again here. So we have the playoff packs coming, and if you haven't reserved it yet and you want to buy it, obviously, then come over here and reserve it. So what we get in this pack is one playoff moment, and then you get two Series 2 base moments. So I made a video a while back about them potentially burning the rest of Series 2 base moments and we could get some of these ones out of 40,000 down to back in the 30,000s and then some of these 35,000s down maybe 30,000. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case because if they do three or four of these playoff packs during the playoffs, and three or four hundred thousand people reserve them we're gonna we're looking at each drop um like eight hundred thousand of these of these series two base set moments are going to be distributed out there so, so it seems like they're going to stay at thirty five thousand or forty thousand they're not actually going to get burned as much because they're just going to be distributing them in the playoffs which was a little a bit of a miscommunication where it seemed like they were done distributing those for the playoffs and they were just going to do all playoff moments in the pack. So now the speculation begins on what these NBA playoff moments are going to look like. So like what they're going to be out of. Are they going to be out of 15,000? Are they going to be out of 20,000? 10,000? Who really knows? But what seems like would make sense is since like the hustle and show were out of 18,000 and about 140,000 people got those each drop and there was eight players in each drop they could just do 50 playoff moments from 50 different players and they could make in them out of like 10,000 um, and they would have enough it'd be 500,000 that would be distributed each playoff drop and then they could do 50 new players the next time um, but then brings to the point is this pack going to be worth $14 because you have the two base moments that are probably going to be $2 each so that's four and then you're going to expect the playoff moment to be $10 and for it to get to $10 it's probably going to have to be for every single one to be at least ten dollars, you're gonna have to probably get them out of ten thousand. If they're fifteen thousand, you could get, I mean, a role player that is probably not gonna be worth ten dollars, and then you're gonna actually lose money on the pack. But obviously, you have the chance to pull like LeBron, Damian Lillard. Obviously, the best players are gonna be in the playoffs. But for this, I would love to see just pull like the top three players on each playoff team and the play-in games. So you have twenty teams to pick from times three from each team so it'd be like 60 players 60 of the best players and then you can make it out of like 15,000 and just use those for the playoffs and skip having guys so if we take a team like the 76ers the top three guys would be Embiid, Simmons and Tobias Harris and then after that just no one else on the team would have a playoff moment because I mean after that like on a team like that you would get like a Danny Green or a, a Thibel, or a Dwight Howard. I mean, these are guys that, like, out of 15000 or out of 20000 they're definitely going to be worth less than $10. Maybe even out of 10000 they'd be less than $10, and that's just not really something we're going to want to pull. So hopefully we see them just take the top three, maybe even two best players from each team for the playoff moment so they're a little more valuable in this drop. I think that would be a pretty cool way to do it. And then, obviously, for the Sixers example, if you got a Tobias Harris, that might be worth 10 and you would break even on the pack. 
And then if you got a Simmons, it might be 12, and then Embiid would be like 20 bucks. So, and then obviously you have the chance to get a LeBron that would be 100 bucks, and then so on with better players: Durant, Kyrie, Harden. All these guys are going to be in the playoff packs. So that's just my thoughts and speculations around the playoff pack. Let me know what you guys think, how many playoff players they're going to make for this, and then what they're going to be out of. Is it going to be 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 more or less? Um, definitely let me know what your thoughts are on that. And then the next thing is this announcement of collector upgrades that they posted so the big news on here obviously was the playoff packs that we just talked about but the second thing which is actually bigger news than playoff packs is next season they're going to be announcing the content release plans for the entire season beforehand which is pretty huge and it's not going to be obviously exactly the dates they're going to do it's going to be like a ballpark range um, they actually use that exact word ballpark timeline with clarity on which parts of the plan is coming out at what time so obviously this is very far away but pretty cool that they told us about this now but it's not going to be happening until the actual next regular season starts which is pretty far away but the biggest thing here is the upper bounds for the number of moments any single player will have. So I believe Giannis, actually let's come to Top Shot and check out how many Series 2 moments Giannis has so far. Because he's going to get a playoff moment, he might get even a Eastern Conference Finals or Eastern Conference Finals moment, and then maybe even a Finals moment. So not even including his playoff moments so far, if we just look at at how many series two Giannis moments there are it's it might be 20 plus I don't know but let's check it out so we got so there's four eight so there's only 10 actually so I was way off by saying 20 but quite a range of different Giannis moments just from series two out here obviously we have the 35,000 the 40,000 his 15k his his uh, seeing stars, and then we just have a 7,500, and then we have his all-star game, a hollow icon, which is a challenge reward, and a deck the halls moment. This was before my time. I didn't don't even remember this drop, and then a metallic gold, and then another challenge reward for the hustle and show. Um, so 10 for just one player. I would hope they would come out and say that the upper bound for next season is going to be eight, maybe less, but it's, I mean, it should be pretty easy to predict for them um, how many they're going to be dropping because like they could have prevented having 10 Giannis moments by not having him be in the hustle and show at the end. But you can definitely predict for a player of Giannis's caliber that he's going to be having an all-star game moment and then a seeing stars if they're going to do that again next year. I think both of those were, were pretty good drops. Now I'm just curious. Let's look at how many Series 1 Giannis has. So he had 10 Series 2, and he has 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 22 series one so he has 32 total <laughs> on the platform right now i guess that's what i was thinking he has the most total on the platform of 32 maybe not even the most series two but 10 is still a lot for one season but i mean i, I guess series one he had 22 which is crazy because i mean he get like the first round playoffs and um he got to run it back and all these like mvp moments i don't even know what these are but it seems like an excessive amount of mvp moments that they were giving him so let me know what you guys think about the upper bounds for the number of moments any single player will have also hoping they'll cap it at like eight or something because it just makes it like a little less rare having so many different moments uh, for one player so i guess the other thing that was noteworthy on here is about the collector score so you're going to get bonuses for completing sets and challenges and quests. I guess 
the quests are like the showdown challenges is what they call um, quests but that'll also help your collector score so that's good to know that if you were thinking about completing some cheap challenges then they should help improve your collector score so you can be eligible for bigger pack drops which are going to be more profitable it seems like the rare and legendary pack drops are more profitable now than like these nine and fourteen dollar packs and then they just say again that they have a team of marketers that they're working on increasing the uh, user base of NBA Top Shot. So trying to obviously get more people in and then have the marketplace go up a little bit. And hopefully in Series 3, we'll see those kind of see the base that we're seeing right now. And then our Series 2 moments will be worth a little more um, is hopefully what's going to happen in the future so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did comment down below your thoughts on all this and also subscribe and i'll catch you guys in another video